Hi, it's Fazana again. In this video, we look at finding the midpoint and the length of a straight line between two points. I hope you've watched parts one and two, where I explained the basic concepts and made you start enjoying straight line graphs. <laughs> um, let's have a look at the basics again. Okay, so we know the equation of a straight line is y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient, and the way you calculate it is your change in y divided by your change in x, and your c is your y-intercept, where it crosses the y-axis. Okay, let's have a look at some questions. Okay, you've got the point A has coordinates 2, 5, and the point B has coordinates 6, 7, and you want to find the midpoint of AB. Okay, the way to find halfway between um, any two numbers, so if you had something like 2 and um, 24, then um, I know a lot of people teach you've got to do 24 minus 2 to find the difference, which is 22, and then half it, and you get 11, and then you add your 11 with your 2, and 11 plus 2 is 13. <laughs> okay? Um, but that way, to me, sounds just so complicated, especially if you end up getting um, a negative number. So if you had negative 5 and um, 11, let's say, and you wanted to find the difference, and it just becomes so complicated. So the way to find numbers halfway is you just add and share. Yeah, so you pretend you've got sweets or money or, and you're sharing it with a friend. Oh, Okay, so if we added 2 and 24 and we get 26, and then if we shared it, we just divide it by 2 and you get your 13. Yeah? So over here, if you added 11 plus minus 5, and it's easy because you just do 11 minus 5 is 6, and you divide it by 2, you get 3. And you can see there's a difference of 8 there, and there's a difference of 8 there. So with coordinates, we do exactly the same. So we'll add our x coordinates. So you've got 2 plus 6 divided by 2, and your y coordinate will be 5 plus 7 divided by 2. Okay, and if you write it that way, you can see your coordinates just come out. So here you've got 2 plus 6 is 8 divided by 2 is 4. And 5 plus 7 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Nice, yes? So simple. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at another one. Okay, find the midpoint of the uh, line joining the points minus 4, 5 and 6, 1. So again, let's add our x coordinates. Minus 4 plus 6 divided by 2 and 5 plus 1 divided by 2. Okay, so then it comes out as minus 4 plus 6 is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 divided by 2 is 3. Okay, and that's how it flows. All right, let's try something a little different. Here you're actually given the midpoint, 2, 1, and you've got point A is 7, 5, and you have to find the coordinate, coordinates of point B. Okay, so we'll just say, so we've got 7 plus your x coordinate of um, coordinate B. Sorry, we'll just call them x and y. And then we divide it by 2. And then your y would be 5 plus y divided by 2. Okay? And then you know you're going to get 2 and 1, which is the midpoint. Yeah? Okay. So you can tell over here that you need to get 2 here. So if you're going to divide it by 2, that means 7 plus x has to equal to 4. So 7 plus what would come to 4? So you can see you've got minus 3 there. 
and then um, you know you're going to divide by 2 so 5 plus y has to be 2 because 2 divided by 2 would be 1 so 5 plus what gives you 2 which would be minus 3 so you can tell the coordinates of point B would just be minus 3 minus 3 yeah was that simple enough if not, just have a look at it again, rewind, go through it again um, until it becomes really simple. Okay, let's try the next slide. Okay, the coordinates of point A and B are 3, 5 and 9, 17. The point R divides AB in the ratio 2 to 1. So this time we're not trying to find the midpoint. We're trying to find the coordinates of R, which are in the ratio 2 to 1. Okay, so let's just, that's your 3, 5. And let's say that's your 9, 17. Um, it helps to sometimes sketch it so that you can just uh, play around with it. And if the point R divides AB in the ratio 2 to 1. So you can see, um, let's just put our R there. Then you can see if it's in the ratio 2 to 1, I always total it. So 2 plus 1 comes to 3. So you can see that's 2 thirds of the way. And that's 1 third of the way. Yeah? Okay. Um, so we've got to... Again, look at the difference in your x coordinates. So 9 minus 3 equals 6. So what would 2 thirds of 6 be? So 2 thirds times 6 would be, let's cross divide. So we've got 4. So you can see um, x is going to go up by 4. So that would be 7. And we'll do the same with the y coordinates. So 17 minus 5 equals 12. And what's 2 thirds of 12? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to write the answer already. <laughs> um, 3 into 12 is 4. So 2 times 4 equals 8. So you can see the y coordinate will go up by 8. So 5 plus 8 is 13. Yeah? And you can see that's right, because look, that goes up by 4, that goes up by 2, so that's twice as much. For, um, that goes up by 8, and that goes up by 4, so that's twice as much. Yeah. So your point R is 7, 13. Okay, all right. Let's try to find the distance between two points. Now, the distance between two points can be found by applying Pythagoras' theorem. You know when we do the um, triangle to find the gradient? If you draw the triangle, you actually get a right angle triangle. So let's have a look. Let's make that point P, which is minus 3, minus 2. And let's make that point Q, which is 5, 4. Okay, so if you ask to find the length, uh, when you look at the straight line graph, immediately you think, ooh, triangle. So then once you draw that triangle, <laughs> which I haven't drawn it very well, you can tell you've got a um, right angle triangle. Yeah, so we can use Pythagoras. And that, of course, is your hypotenuse, which is your longest side. So to go from minus 3 to 5, you've got 8. And then to go from minus 2 to 4, we're going up 6, okay? And if you've watched my video on Pythagoras' theorem, you should know this off by heart um, because it's a Pythagorean triple. But if you went 6 squared plus 8 squared, you actually get 10. So you should know this Pythagorean triple 6, 8. 10 off by heart yeah it's a multiple of 3 4 5 which is also a Pythagorean triple so any multiples of 3 4 5 okay 
So you can tell the length of the line would be 10 units. Okay, so it's all about Pythagoras. Okay, let's try another one. Find the distance between the points minus 3, minus 7, and 5, 8. So again, you've got minus 3, minus 7, and 5, 8. Okay, let's try drawing our triangle. And here we have a right angle triangle, and again, you've got your hypotenuse. So from minus 3 to 5 is 8, and from minus 7 to 8 is 15. Okay, so again, your h is the square root of um, 8 squared plus 15 squared. Okay, um, remember to use this shortcut because it's so much easier rather than going 8 squared plus 15 squared equals 8 squared and then you're calculating it. If it's a calculator prob uh, problem, then just put that on your calculator. Make sure those are in brackets so it's capturing the square root of the whole thing. Okay, and working that out on my calculator, we get a lovely round sum of 17. Okay. So the length, the distance between those two points is 17 units. Okay, good. Sorted. Okay, that's all for now. Please join me in part three to work on some uh, different kinds of questions with straight lines. Um, as I said, keep practicing, keep working hard. Remember, you're in control. No one else. <laughs> um, until next time, take care. Bye.